All right, so one more recording I'm going to do, and this talks about this. <sighs> I don't know what to cause, but this sounds like another, or um, another chapter in the mix up people, um, playlist. So, all right, so dear pastor, uh, and greet you in the name, name of Jesus, and is when we hear what this woman is get down is, you're going to be looking at her and said, how dare you call it Jesus' name? Don't mix Jesus up in, mix Jesus up in your nonsense. So, I'm writing to you. I'd like to help me find my child's father's relatives. He got me pregnant. I don't want to find him. That's the day I told he got, I told he got to accident and died. I grew up with my grandparents and my child's father, after my child's father died. I got involved with a married man. See the bullshit right here? Yeah, here's the bullshit right here. Um, yeah, and remember what it says in the Bible, though, thou shalt not commit adultery, but... But then again, certain people use certain scriptures for their own convenience, not because they actually whole cloth believe the whole Bible. So, I got involved with a married man. I could not help because I had nobody to take care of my child and myself. So, she was basically looking for a clean-up guy. That's what she's saying. This married man took care of me. I tried to get him to send me back to school. But he said he was not going to send any young girl to school back to school because they are too ungrateful. Basically, it sounds like he's just basically a, he's a control freak. So... Basically means that okay, I want to keep you sim I just want to keep you simple and independent of me, even though I'm already in a committed relationship, which I'm which and which marital vows I'm breaking regardless of that relationship. But this is the way of control because if he figures if he sends him if he gives her money to send send her off to school, she's gonna be independent and most likely gonna trade up from this guy. That's a typical scenario with a control freak. Alright, but I'm not great, ungrateful to him because he puts my puts my pot on the fire every day and I've never cheated on him. Basically, she's staying, or he, she's, she's staying in her place because she don't want to really offend or really kill the golden goose that is this guy who is married. His wife found out about us one day and that always happens when you're the sad person. And one day she showed up at my grandfather's house and was making a scene. Same time my boyfriend came by and ordered her to go home. Me and the married man, of course. Alright. Alright, I was so ashamed because my grandparents thought he was a single man. I had to lie and tell my grandparents I didn't know he's married. Yup, yeah, and this is a person that's claiming Jesus' name. Don't bring Jesus into this. My grandfather believed me, but my grandfather did not. Because my grandfather said, You're on some bullshit. You, my granddaughters, you're on some bullshit here. My grandfather said, If I want to live that kind of life, this man can find somewhere and put me. He's real upset because he thought this guy's single. I eventually could get married. Basically, it means that he does, um, to get her out of the house and off and so no longer be a burden to them. Alright, so for whatever reason you allowed, you, you still allow the fellow to sleep with me at the house sometimes. This guy, no, this guy that no happens and the wife, guy can't take me to his house because his wife is there. He has to t take me a motel and has to use part of the money to pay for that. I don't get as much anymore, so that's pretty much it. This is confessions of this, of a mistress or I'm trying to, I, I forgot what, um, Title, um, title I use for the playlist, but uh, or oh, uh, Confessions of a Psychic. Yeah, that's the series I'm doing, and this woman fits right into it. So, what basically is this? Those that this woman was just this entire relationship based on love. This married man that she's seen, like he has no intentions of leaving his wife. Though he's just doing what a lot of adulterers do. Like they have a little side person that they're um, that they're knocking boots with. They have no intentions of really breaking up their marital home more than they're doing already. And this guy is just basically stringing along because, hey, I get to have my cake and eat it too. And the thing is that she's not dumb. She's not stupid. She knows what she's getting to. She needs this guy to like be a fa um, be a, to basically be her meal ticket. I mean, like, because um, I'm guessing that she's not, she, can, um, she can't really get any other man in her life. Or maybe some of the other guys pretty much know what your get down is and pretty much saying, um, I'm good. Handle your own business. Good luck raising your son. And so that's basically what it is, though. It's just, just a relationship based on convenience where both parties are concerned. Now, thing what is, if she had any scruples, she basically be taking herself out of this relationship and actually find a good dude that is not really pulling this bullshit, but... Again, she just sees this guy's money and say, you know what? Even though I'm just, I'm just basically the side, I'm the side chick, and that's not ever a good role to be in. I'm just going to want to put up with this very, 
this very um, un immoral and very dangerous situation. Because the fact that the wife find, found out, it could have gone much worse. Because it not the wife has knows about her. Because usually what happens when person in a relationship gets cheated on. Yeah, sometimes they'll take it to under cheating partner, but other times they're going to take it on the person that they're cheating with. No, it could have been a case where the wife could have went upside her head or arranged for someone else to de deal with you. Or even the husband, if he's that low down and sleazy, he could have just offed her, the side chick off, just to basically save face if he didn't want to get exposed. Because that has happened. I've read, done stories about this before. I think there's, I forget the name of that chick who was in Florida who was apparently seeing her long-time friend childhood friend behind his wife's back and then her same childhood friend apparently killed her um just and this is a woman who was a single mother and so on and i feel sorry for that poor woman that her daughter but he ended up killing her just to kind of cover his tracks before he was exposed but this is what basically and this is one of the many dangers of being involved with someone who's in, already involved because the wife could have done use her something, especially. But, but the thing is that I don't really feel sorry for this woman. Like, she could, she, if she, what she needs to do is get her shit together. All right. And also, if, if, she, if she wants to be someone, be someone who has more moral, has more of a moral standing than this guy. But, but the thing is, I really feel sorry for is that, that, so that, um, feel sorry for a child because, he has, the child has to see this bullshit going and that child's going to end up messed up as hell as a result of his mom's bullshit. But that's all I can pretty much say for this though is that not a good look on her part. And if she's smart, she'd take herself out of that situation. Alright, so this is, so basically, um, alright, so, and things that she, she starts saying she wants to find her child's dad's relatives. Alright, but... One um, but that not sh but not sure what to say about that. We don't know what's going to happen with that. If they're basically going to be welcoming her in open arms after seeing how she gets down, or they might encourage her to do better for the sake of um the her her late father, the late, um or the sake of her son or her child. So that's pretty much all I have to say. So this is for State of Jamaica the Caribbean. Check my other um YouTube pages, Miles Gusenferen, Miles Productions, and Real Thoughts and Miles. Take care.